everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to burn your movie to DVD without using the Kizzo player. If you're having some problems deactivating your antivirus or something like that and you're having troubles with the Kizzo player, this is how you'll you'll burn your movie to DVD. Uh, first you will need to contact us though so that we'll be able to make an adjustment to your account so that you'll be able to, to follow these steps. Alright, so I'm in my movies tab. I've got my anniversary movie that I'm wanting to burn to DVD for my friends. I've got it highlighted by clicking once, and then I'm going to click the Burn DVD button. Now I'll select the format I'd like to burn it in. I'm going to go ahead and select the US format and click Confirm. Now you'll see I have a pop-up saying that my request for the movie has been received and then I'll receive an email confirming the request and an email with the link to download the video file once it's been converted. That's something that's a little bit different from when you use the Kizzo player. Um, like I said, that's why you need to contact us first if you're having troubles and we can set up your account appropriately. Now, so my movie has been requested. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the My Account tab and go to My Orders. And here I can follow the status of my video request. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait for my movie to be converted and then I'll come back with you once it's ready and show you the steps to burn it to DVD. Okay, so my movie is ready for download. You can see under the My Account, My Orders tabs, um, the status here is listed as complete and I've now got the gray download button here. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Download of my .iso file for my movie goes ahead and starts automatically. Um, it'll go ahead and download to wherever you've set the downloads uh, to go on your internet browser. Generally, it's just the downloads folder on your computer. Um, you can also download your movie from the link that you'll receive via email once it's ready. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and download the application that we're going to use to burn your .iso file to DVD. The application is called CD Burner XP. It's available for free download. And we're actually just going to go to Google and type that in, and it'll be the very first link here. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And this pulls up the CD Burner XP. And I'll actually be able to just click here to begin the free download, and then I'll be able to install the CD Burner XP program. I already have it installed on my computer to save us a little bit of, a t of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my computer's desktop. And it looks like my file's already finished downloading. So I'm going to go here to the CD Burner XP application. Just double click to load. And then once it pulls up, I'm going to select this very first option. Like I said, that video file is an, a .iso file. So we're going to want to create the ISO images here. I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I'll have the option here on my computer. It decides to cooperate. So go to my downloads folder. And here I'll see my movie that I just downloaded. So I can go ahead and click and then drag this down to the bottom to begin the burning. So go ahead and I'll say yes that I want to burn the disc. And then it pops up with this box automatically and I'll just click burn to start the burning process. So the burning process is started automatically. Um, once it's done, your computer may or may not spit the disk out, um, but you will have a message here on your screen saying that the burning was successful. Once it's been burnt, go ahead and try putting the DVD back in your computer. Make sure it plays in your computer, and then you can also go play it on a DVD player.